Hello and welcome to this demo screencast on Salesforce CRM Analytics, your gateway to unlocking powerful insights within the Salesforce ecosystem. This video explains the platform fundamentals, ensuring you harness the full potential of CRM analytics. But first, let's set the stage with our learning objectives for today. By the end of this video, you'll be able to describe the key features of CRM analytics, create a data set in Data Manager, articulate how to create a visualization in Analytics Studio, and differentiate CRM analytics from traditional reports in Salesforce. Let's get started. Salesforce CRM Analytics provides one unified system for collecting customer data, analyzing it, and creating valuable insights. It's more than just a customer relationship management tool. Salesforce CRM Analytics can help you get to know your customers better, which allows you to be more strategic in how you sell so that you can grow your business. One of the most common questions we receive is how CRM analytics is different from Salesforce reports. Essentially, CRM analytics is a comprehensive data analytics tool, allowing you to use data from anywhere and providing customizable options for interactive exploration. This stands in contrast to Salesforce reports, which only uses Salesforce data and has standalone components. Some key features of CRM analytics include templates and custom-built dashboards, which let you create a personalized environment tailored to your analytics experience and business needs. An intelligent data analytics platform, which collects and analyzes data from various sources to give you accurate, insightful information. And actionable dashboards and applications that help you to visualize your data in a way that makes sense for your business. There are two key areas within CRM analytics. The first is the data manager. The data manager is your home base for all of your data connections, recipes, and syncs. The second is the analytics studio. Essentially, everything you've prepped in data manager moves to analytics studio afterward, so you can create visualizations such as dashboards. We'll discuss the data manager and analytics studio in more detail later. For now, Let's review the main types of users for CRM analytics because not everyone uses CRM analytics the same way. Understanding the different personas who might use CRM analytics will help you maximize the tool's potential. The first user is a stakeholder. These users are people who are focused on the big picture, like a CEO. They have a high-level vision of the metrics their organization wants and understand the project scope, time, and budget. The second user is the data specialist. The data specialist understands the nitty-gritty of data, formatting, and connections. They collaborate with dashboard specialists, who take the data sets and transform them into dashboards with actionable insights. Next, we have the integration user and the security user. They are automatically created when CRMA is provisioned. The integration user's permissions are crucial for extracting data from Salesforce objects. They control access to standard and custom fields, ensuring a secure data flow. The security user controls visibility. Their permissions determine role-level security in the analytics environment without requiring changes to standard profiles. As we move forward, let's review the permissions and roles required to make the most out of CRM analytics. Whether you have a CRM analytics growth or plus license, the software comes with two pre-built permission sets, CRMA admin and CRMA user. The CRMA admin has the flexibility to create and manage different assets, use the data manager, and exercise more control over the analytics experience. The CRMA user provides basic viewer access to dashboards, but can't make changes to data models. It's designed for end users who need to access and explore the insights generated. Now that we've explored the key features, let's delve into the heart of CRM analytics, the data manager and go over some concepts around data set management. Data Manager is your platform for connecting data, creating data sets, and refreshing data. It's the control center for your data operations. To make sure we're all on the same page, let's go over some key data manager terms. Data sync is the method used to refresh connected data in CRM analytics. It ensures that your data is always up to date and accurate. A data set is a collection of related data stored in a denormalized, highly compressed form optimized for interactive exploration. Next up, we have a data recipe. Think of it as a set of instructions. It specifies what data to extract, how to transform it, and which data sets to make available for querying. Data flows are the legacy ETL tool, but all new data sets should be created through recipes. 
the Jobs Monitor tracks the success of data uploads, which are called jobs. Data assets are an inventory of datasets, connected data, live data, and staged data. Usage tracks progress towards row and output limits. Connections create and maintain integrations to Salesforce and other third-party data. Data templates are a prepackaged data manipulation process. Now that we've gone over some key terms, let's go over how to create a data set. Creating a data set involves selecting sources, defining fields, and establishing relationships. It's the foundation for generating meaningful insights in CRM analytics. One way, and not the only way, to create a data set is through a CSV file. This method is a manual upload and not influenced by refreshed schedules that operate on connections. To create a data set, you'll need to upload a CSV file with all of your data into CRM analytics. You'll also need a metadata file. Once you have those, here's how to create your data set. From the CRM analytics homepage, click Create, then select Data Set. Click CSV. Select your CSV file. In the Dataset Name field, enter a name for your dataset. By default, CRM Analytics uses the file name as the dataset name. You'll also select the app where the dataset will be created. By default, CRM Analytics selects my private app. To change the app, you can click the X to remove the default and select the relevant app. We'll keep it on the default for now. When you click Next, you'll be prompted to the edit the field attributes of your file, which includes the field label and the field type, which determines whether the field is a dimension, a measure, or a date. In most cases, CRM Analytics will correctly identify the file type. However, you can always change it manually as well. When you're finished reviewing those attributes, click Upload File. It may take a few minutes depending on the size of your file, but once uploaded, CRM Analytics confirms the upload is successful and creates a job to build the data set. Nice work. Now we can navigate to our data manager to confirm that our data set was successfully created with our CSV file upload. Now that you have your data set, you should set up refresh schedules to ensure your data remains accurate and up to date. You can configure refresh schedules based on time increments, such as hours or days. Choose options for incremental, full, and periodic refresh to meet your specific needs. Now let's spend some time reviewing Analytics Studio, where you can build visualizations of your data set. We'll showcase the interface of Analytics Studio so that you can create impactful data visualizations. We start on the home page, which shows an overview of assets you've created recently. The Browse tab includes search fields, as well as a list of tabs to search within. Within the Favorites tab, you can easily find the assets you've marked as important. The Notifications tab stores notifications created on your dashboards. If you've enabled subscriptions in the Analytics permissions, you would see a tab under this Notifications tab, which would display the lenses, widgets, or collections you've to which you've subscribed to receive email notifications. The Watchlist tab stores metrics on dashboards that are watchlisted. It can store up to 20 dashboard KPY all in one place. The Collections tab helps with organizing assets. The Learning Center provides a collection of CRMA learning resources. The Data Manager tab opens a new tab for the Data Manager so they can access anything on the data side. The Template Gallery provides a list of all templates available. The Model Manager tab is available in Plus Orgs to view predictions deployed or uploaded. Finally, the Community tab provides a shortcut to the Trailblazer community. Now let's create impactful dashboards in Analytics Studio. Open Analytics Studio. Click Create and then click Dashboard. Select either a blank dashboard or a dashboard from template. For today's purposes, click blank dashboard. Notice the layout options on the right. You can change these at the beginning. Otherwise, it could impact the layout of your widgets in the end. Click into the dashboard once and then click Create Query. Select the data set you want. A query of your data set displays. Use the data panel to add in or filter out data in your query. We'll change the bar length to the sum of the pipeline amount. Then I'll change the bar grouping by stage. Use the formatting options on the right to update the look and feel of your visualization. You can select Charts, Formatting, and History. Before we move forward, let's go over the features you can use for an enhanced analytics experience. Within Analytics Studio, you can use Chart Mode and Table Mode. Within Table Mode, you can use Query Mode to review the underlying code of your visualization 
written in SAQL, Salesforce's query language. Analytics Studio offers bar charts, line charts, and dates and times for visualizing your data. It also comes with suggested charts, which uses artificial intelligence to come up with visualization ideas. You'll notice our formatting table with several options for chart formatting. Each chart type has unique features available here. You can also click History to view past versions of charts. You can use it as an undo or a redo function if you need to revert back. Once you're happy with your chart, click Done. You can then drag this query onto your dashboard. To change the size, you can select and drag the corners of the visualization. The panel on the left-hand side displays the different widgets that are available to further customize this dashboard. For now, we'll keep it as is, and you can use the Preview button to see how the dashboard will appear to users. You can then save your dashboard, give it a name, choose where you want to save the dashboard and click Save. Your custom dashboard is ready to use. Great work today. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.